new mixing course start to finish, including mastering. In this one, we will break down the mix for the song that we recorded with one microphone, the Roosevelt Mini K87. If you missed the video, I'll put the link in the info box down below, featuring We The Commas and Willie Calderon. It's a beautiful acoustic song with vocals, background vocals, two acoustic guitars and percussions. We will see all the settings for the hardware and the plugins, the effects, start to finish. So from the raw tracks to the final mastered product. And for this one, members will be able to download the raw tracks and try their own mix. Part of this is gonna be free for everybody, the full course for members only. Let's get to it. Hello everyone, welcome back to Mixpest TV. Hope you're having a great day. Before we start, please check the info box down below for my mixing courses on ProMix Academy, free plugins, special discounts and offers. And of course, if you wanna support the channel and if you wanna see this full course in its entirety, click the join button down here, become a Mixpest TV member and access the already big and always growing library of full mixing courses, mastering courses, special videos, and a lot more. Remix contest for my artist, Bella Kelly's new single, Heartbreak Motel. It's up and running with over $30,000 in prizes between plugins and hardware it ends February 15th. Let's get to it. All right, we're breaking down the mix for this beautiful song by We The Commas featuring uh, Willie Calderon. We recorded all the tracks with only one microphone, the Roosevelt Audio uh, Mini K87, going straight into my Motu M2 interface. So no fancy preamps, no fancy compressors, nothing, okay? I think it's gonna be interesting because first of all, it's an acoustic song. We never did acoustic stuff, uh, mix breakdown so far, and it's quite different from what you hear me and see me mixing and mastering usually. So I think it's gonna be pretty interesting. First of all, let's hear the absolute raw tracks. For God's sake, I'm losing it, I'm sinking deep, oh, she says I'm hyper and annoying. The mix is of course done in hybrid, so there are some piece of hardware here and there and uh, an analog two bus chain, and this is how the final product sounds. For God's sake, I'm losing it, I'm sinking deep, oh, she says I'm hyper and annoying, so why are you with me, yeah, tell me what I want to hear, you don't want to see me cry. Next up is the main compressor, which is a distressor. So let's activate this and let's take a look at the controls. Now I have this one in a four to one ratio and I have the HPF engaged and distortion three. My input is a two, my attack is at five, the release is a six, we can't see it, and my output is a seven and a half. I'm just basically compensating the input and output uh, what's important is the distortion, the settings without. For God's sake, I'm losing it. I'm sinking deep. Oh, she says I'm hyper. For God's sake, I'm losing it. I'm sinking deep. Oh. She says I'm hyper and annoying. You hear that O, oh, how it sits it back? And in the, in the song, if we unsolo it. I'm sinking deep, oh. I'm sinking deep, oh. Notice two things. Uh, the release is pretty slow because we don't want a jumpy release here. It's a smooth track, okay? That's the first thing. And the second is when he sings lower here. Tell me what I want to hear. You don't want to see me cry. Certainly will disappear. It barely touches the first light and it barely does 1 dB of compression. Why? Look at the track. We want this part to be a little louder than it is to compensate for the first part and we want the first part to be controlled. This is how it sounds, lead vocal with the main reverb. For God's sake, I'm losing it, 
I'm sinking deep. Oh, she says I'm hyper. The reverb itself is the VSS4 HD, and it kind of transformed this up close mono recording of the of the percussion in almost an ambient recording. And I'm not concerned about losing punch or snap or whatever happens when you use a, a short delay because this is not really a main element. It's in the background, okay? The second thing I added again, this reverb in insert, which I never do. And I use this drape curtains. This is actually from my film impulse collection. And yes, the knees, especially on a mix like this, are kind of the magic bullet because you can hear this crazy good sound in low end and way that adds to the material. Uh, after the knees, we have the fusion with the inserts. So let's go to the fusion. I'm gonna bypass the insert because we have the SPL in insert. And then we have the several, a couple of EQs and the um, NG mastering compressor. So. Um, the Fusion in this case, I'm not using the Vintage Dry because, like I said, saturation on this mix is very used very, very lightly. I only have a little bit of boost on the Violet EQ, I have a de -esser, and I have the stereo image just using the space, and that's it. So, let's he listen with and without. For God's sake, I'm losing it, I'm sinking deep. Because it's so subtle, I'm just gonna boost things and so you can hear uh, where the EQ is. The EQ is at 20, and I'm just boosting like one notch, so. For God's sake, I'm losing it. I'm sinking deep. Oh. So that's what it's grabbing. And then the FHF compressor, you can, you can see it happening only with the S's. So again, we combine the distressor and the fusion HF compressor for that vocal to be even smoother, and then the, the mastering compressor as well. For God's sake, I'm losing it. I'm sinking deep. Oh. I again, subtle, it only happens on those S's there. And then the stereo image is just opens up at this point the only few elements, stereo elements that we have, so the reverbs and the percussions. For God's sake, I'm losing it. I'm sinking deep. Oh, she says I'm hyper. That is really just a little bit of aura of like width. Uh, next, we have the insert, so let me bypass everything else here. So we can only hear the SPL, which is literally just one band. It's just adding this super, super transparent. I said it many times, the SPL is just strictly a mastering EQ. And I in mix, I only use it like this. It can be one band just because I have it, I can do it. In this case, I just wanted to add this high quality top band. But this is subtle, I will again exaggerate, it's just 1 dB at 22K. Actually, I can leave the insert and just bypass this so you can see. I'm sinking deep. Oh, she says I'm hyper and annoying. So are you with me? Yeah, tell me what I want to hear. Again, this is subtle, this is all a subtle mix, but I think you can hear this air uh, just 
at the very, very top end, especially on the vocals, that happens. Let me boost it a little more so you can understand what frequency is grabbing. Sinking deep. Oh, she says I'm hyper and annoying. So why are you with me? Right after this, we have the, actually we have the uh, Symphy Q. So let's go to that one. Now for the Symphy Q, I just used 1 dB at 60. You can see on both channels, of course, nothing at the top end and the filters. The filters are actually one, uh, the first notch, which is 15 Hertz and nothing on the top end. So this is just gonna be a slight gentle boost um, in shelf from 60 and up. Sinking deep. Oh, she says I'm hyper and annoying. So why are you with me? Yeah, tell me what I want to hear. You don't want to see me cry. Certainly will disappear. But again, kind of a obvious and noticeable difference. Next, we have the NG bus compressor, and you can see it here, but you can also see it here in the plug-in controller. Um, for this, of course, I went for an extremely gentle compression. We are in 1.5 ratio, and we have the side chain set to 90. Usually I'm higher than that, but here we don't really have that much low end. So I wanted to kind of react a little bit to the guitar as well, not just the lead vocal. But for the most part, it's reacting to the lead vocal, you will see it. And with 1.5 ratio, the knee also changes and it's uh, softer. Attack of 15, which is kind of common for me on the, on the two bus, I have a THD, very little, because again, saturation, um, very little in this mix, no iron, and the release is a 0.5. And I'm also compressing in mid-side mode, okay? For God's sake, I'm losing it. I'm sinking deep. Oh, she says I'm hyper and annoying. So why are you with me? And another trick that I use for this mix, you can take a look at the plugin here or the unit over there, is I upped my THD on the sides. And I did that by, uh, on this um, compressor, you can unlink the parameter, otherwise they follow each other. Like for example, if I have a link and I do this, they both, you know, turn. But if I unlink, I can turn and, you know, each one independently. So what I did, I unlinked the parameter and upped my THD here on the sides more than on the, on the mid because the mid channel is higher in level usually. So when I compress mid side, I want kind of a balanced uh, increase of harmonic, I do this. This is a little trick for, for those who have the NG bus. And after this, actually, we also have the spacecraft just to open up a little bit of stereo image. And for the mastering on a mix like this, you can expect that the mastering is extremely minimal. Hands on my neck, hands get my throat, throat. Lift me up, up. 